Hey, this is Chip Desard. I am editing with Adobe Premiere CS6. So one of the things I really like about it is that how customizable it is um, to Final Cut Pro um, users, especially Final Cut Pro 7 users. And this is exactly how I had my interface set up at Final Cut Pro. So this is like no change for me uh, whatsoever. So I'm going to open up the the source monitor and then this is a source and this is a program monitor so this is what you see in Final Cut Pro um, 10 you don't really have this and a lot of people were complaining about that I was one of them it was more of that uh, timeline elastic timeline kind of thing it was, it was a little weird to get used to I got used to it but you never realize what you miss until it's gone so I really did miss having a source and doing in and out points and them keeping the in and out points here. So here's the edit for a church I'm doing. Um, and um, one of the little things I like, I created a new folder and I like this media browser. So the media browser, basically, I can look on my hard drive or I can look anywhere where I have footage. So I have a connected hard drive and I create the new folder. I'm going to click on that. And then use, I'm used to going out to the finder and then just dragging folders in or going file. You know how it is with a Final Cut Pro is go file import recent file then you look for the file where in the heck is it and all that other stuff so with a media browser you can look at all supported files or you can just uh, types of files that you want okay so I'm gonna just stick with all supported files and then I'm gonna go down to I know the project's name is Riverside Nashville and I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the uh, let's see this folder right here and I have a folder called lower thirds so let's see if it's called lower thirds and then it shows the two lower thirds and I have one six second lower third I have another one that's not right so I'm just gonna right click on this and hit import and when it imports it uh, and I don't have to import it by the way I can just double click on it and then you can see it in the in the program and I'm sorry in the source monitor but I'm going to import it and look where it puts it right in the right folder I can just hit enter or just do this so I can say um, Fordham lower and just rename it like that and now I'm going to open it in the source monitor and there he is that's the source monitor uh, and I took this out of um, Apple motion and just exported it uh, so I'm just going to do an out point here and then I'm just going to drag this down here to where I needed to go into um, Adobe Premiere. As you see, my timeline, um, I'm still learning. I know snapping. I that's in in Final Cut, and it's right here. I move my bars over here. I move my. Uh, I like the audio waveforms, and you be able to expand those. So if I want to expand it, and you know, see really. So. All right. Another thing I did with my uh, workflow here. So I'm going to move this back. Let's move that back. Because I don't want to see the numbers a lot of times. I know them, know what it is. And I like my I like Final Cut Pro. I like my stuff over here. Actually, Final Cut Pro, I think, has their tools here, 7, and then has it has it switched. So I can always go back and you know, switch it around if I want to and do some stuff. But uh, just right now, I'll take it there. These are the um, these, these controls right here. I can add some more to button editor, put spaces, all the other stuff. If I don't like those, like I didn't take, I took them off of here. They were pretty useless over here to me. Um, so what I did, um, I went over here. You can go to this menu and then you can take off show transport con controls and then you have more real estate for your program monitor. So um, I like the customization a lot here. Um, of course, this is all After Effects. If you know Adobe programs, putting in time code, anything that's yellow, you can put stuff right in there. Um, good old settings. And if you want to play stuff at a fourth, that's what I did, or a half as pause resolution. So I just like my low resolution until I'm ready to export it. Right before I export, I can watch it once it renders. One more thing I want to go over is just the acceleration, the GPU, CPU acceleration. So if I go to project settings, I go into general. I'm under Mercury playback engine. I'm not going to go into detail about that. But uh, you can do the hardware acceleration, the GPU acceleration, or you can do the software only. So I'm just going to leave it as it was, as I have the hard uh, the GPU acceleration. So if you see, this is H.264. Um, of course, Final Cut Pro 10 can edit this natively. This is from a Canon 7D. And then um, it's from 
and it, it, it plays back very smoothly. Um, another thing I do like about it that I'm going to get into another tutorial is about uh, layers, adjustment layers, and how you can uh, do things with that. Uh, if you're familiar with Photoshop or you're familiar with After Effects, uh, you'll love adjustment layers. So look out for that tutorial. So so many things I can go on and on and on about this program. Um, but the thing is, you just have to try to use it, especially if you if you've used Final Cut Pro 7 in the past. This is a program that you will not like. If you've used iMovie in the past, if you're looking to upgrade, I would say go to Final Cut Pro 10 or X, as you call it. But um, I'm familiar with both of them. I, I prefer the Final Cut Pro 7 of editing, even though I do use Final Cut Pro 10 as well. So whatever you do, just make sure you do a great edit. And uh, that's what it is about. And um, I'm just about to uh, do a ripple delete right here and bring those two things together. And I finish this edit and, uh, and then export it. One of the things that I'm doing here. So this is Chip Desire with Web Video Chef. So a quick overview of what I'm doing here. Final Cut Pro. I'm sorry. Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> it's the little things that make a difference. And those little things that make your edits great. And uh, those little details and, and small details that really uh, take you to the next level as a video professional professional and an editor. If you have any questions, you can always email us at ask at Web Video Chefs or follow us on Twitter at Web Video Chefs or friend us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Web Video Chefs. Take care. <laughs>